to explain how I have uh, explosive diarrhea. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Now back out here with another one of my videos and today as you can see by the title and thumbnail We'll be doing some restaurant review. We'll be going to a one-star restaurant here uh, where I live in Miami Yeah, we'll be seeing if the food is uh, shitty how people say or if it's officially good and then if it's good I'm gonna give the stars it needs because it needs the stars it needs, you know, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to rate a bad place a bad star when it actually has good food. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. That's why we're doing this video. To bring you guys on a ride along. Alright, All right, guys. For safety purposes, I don't want this place to sue me or anything like that. I'm not gonna, like, give out, like, the place. But, like, if you live here in Miami, you'll probably know what the place is. Yeah. Seem pretty nasty reviews on here. Let me read you some. Alright guys, so this restaurant has very, very bad reviews, so like, I'm gonna read you guys some reviews right now, so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. For example, the first one, um, I'm coming to eat, and I'm here 30 minutes. The waiters, they give me one glass of water, and after that, they, they forgot me. I'm way, way, I'm way, way, I'm feeling so tired and left out. The bar, what, whoa, 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 can you just like read this? I, okay. Okay, can you read it for, for me? Read it for me. I'm coming to eat. I'm here 30 minutes. The waiters, they give me one glass of water after they they forgot about me. And I'm feeling so tired and I left there working very hard. Three waiters in the bar, all they do is talk, talk, talk. All you do is talk and talk and talk. And the forget this person. This person has horrible grammar. I'm trying Thanks to for like, your reviews, but you suck at. It says attention, please. Before you come here, eat at your house because the waiters will forget you. A little okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. The second one is uh, whoa. <laughs> this essay. woman wrote a whole essay. Like this woman wrote a whole uh, essay. This was by far one of the worst experiences I've had at this restaurant. My waitress blank approached my table. Screaming across the restaurant, and then she proceeded to smack her gum while she took my order. Whoa! <laughs> I'm ready for this. I want this to happen when I go. Every time she approached my table, she had clear her throat and nose at my table while smacking her gum. What? It's like. <clears throat> I ordered a large pizza, and when the pizza was bought, it was cut out properly. It's a pizza slicer. And began to slaughter my pizza. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, guys. So the pizza wasn't cut properly. So she requested that her pizza was cut properly. And she said the woman came out with a pizza cutter. And she started slaughtering her pizza. <laughs> At this point, I am beyond frustrated. So I tell her to stop. It's then I stood up and proceeded stop. to cut off my own large pizza with a knife and fork. We also asked for extra napkins, which I had to go get myself because she had us waiting 20 minutes for napkins. She also claimed they did not have Parmesan cheese to add to the pizza but then had it for a garlic rolls she had us waiting an additional 20 minutes for her to come back and check on us dissatisfied with our service and i've ate in here several times she needs some retraining i don't know what she needs but hospitality is always not meant for her all right guys so here's the last review i'm going to read to you guys it says disgusting place expensive employees suck how can employees can handle a food like this? This lady is serving spaghettis without a utensil, with bare hands, without gloves. I'm not going there never ever again. Here you can see a picture of her serving the spaghettis with her bare hands. I am so excited for this, guys. You have no idea. I am so ready. I am so ready. I am so ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this. And we're going to get on our way. Alright, you you uh, yeah. So we are currently driving the Whippo. Wait, can they see me or no? Who? The camera? Of course. Oh my god, and this whole time I'm making faces. Oh my god, and this whole time I'm making faces. Alright guys, so we are currently on the way to the place. Which name we're not gonna say. We're gonna keep it classified 100 percent So Yeah, definitely. We're gonna uh, go there, uh, try out the food, order some things from the menu, and then uh, we're going to eat because we're pretty hungry at the moment. At the, we are hungry, that's why we're gonna go get food. That's number one. Hopefully the food is good, because if it's not, I'm gonna get a complaint. But first, we're gonna do one thing, and that is gonna be put on our seatbelts, because your boy's not trying to get a ticket. Good. All right, guys, so the review said the place is expensive. I don't think it's expensive, I just think it's... Oh, okay, okay. We'll get there, I'll let you guys. We're gonna do a bathroom check, see how clean the boys' and girls' bathroom is checked. It's just the police. Alright, be right back, alright guys? 
we went 60 miles an hour that was 30, so. Now we we that. just broke the speed limit! We. Woo! Yeah, you're part of this you vehicle, broke. woman! I'm playing y'all. No, don't speed, bro. Be safe in the streets. Um, Seriously, don't speed. Like, it's not funny, but please don't speed. It's not good. You won't get anything out of it. Uh, and be safe. Take care of your car. And yeah, definitely. Take care of yourself Take first. care of yourself. That's number one. Number one and part. definitely take care of the person that's next to you. I don't want anything to happen to her, so why would I speed? And if I'm driving with people, why would I want to speed? Pointless. Click it or tick it. So far, the water tastes like water. <laughs> Hola, me da una una pizza napolitana. Sí. Eh, también me da unos espaguetis. Me da una crema de queso. Crema de queso. Sí, es un seis pancitos de ajo. Y después me da dos batidos, uno de burrito, uno de trigo y el mío me lo hace. Está rico el de fresa. She took our order, she was kind of like, I hesitated to like say something and she kind of like, did like a gesture with her face, so it was like, kind of weird, but we'll see. Hey guys, um, let's try this. This is a strawberry shake, it's very watery. Very watery. I feel like they did it with the uh, powder. It's not even real strawberries. When your boy's hungry. And the radio sucks ass. And the radio is literally like, like the speaker is like, it's not even like, right? Like the speaker is like. Listen to it. Yeah. We got garlic bread. Smells it. Smells weird. Smells very weird. But we're eating. Very dry. Mm. How does it taste? Huh? <laughs> Mm. So how's the pizza? How's it looking? Huh? Mm. <laughs> how's the pizza? How is it? Give your. It tastes like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. It tastes like what? Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Chuck E. Cheese pizza. <laughs> Alright guys, check this out. Look look how watery this is. Mm -hmm. This place deserves more than one star. This place deserves zero stars. Hi guys, so I went to eat, go eat my um. It's my, like a cream with, uh, that's made of it's cheese. A che yeah, it's a cream that's made of cheese or cream cheese we could say, but it's not cream cheese. And I went to go eat it to try it, but there's no spoon. So yeah, now uh, we're gonna eat it. And it looks pretty, pretty, pretty disgusting. The spaghetti was like extremely watery. Like this thing is dry and like acid. But this place definitely zero stars on this place. Alright guys, so I'm gonna try this. Look how this looks. Like, look at this. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this with a fork. Oh my god, guys. Nothing to well with the bacon. Ooh. 
looks. It looks like. It's like. I know, guys. It's like, look at this. Alright, guys, so it was $27 for everything. We got it. Alright, y'all, so we're in the bathroom. Doing the bathroom check. The bathroom. Pretty. It's, it's alright, but the seats have like pee all over them. Flush that. Um, let's see if there's any paper towels. Oh, okay, paper towels. Yep. Sink is pretty. Pretty, pretty disgusting. Yeah, these two things are pretty good. It's, Looks like the bathroom just got cleaned. It's stain right there. Bathroom is pretty decent. It's not that bad. It's just overloaded with napkins everywhere. All right, so the bathrooms were disgusting. The boys' bathroom. The floors are disgusting too. Like. All right, so uh, my girlfriend has explosive diarrhea, basically. <laughs> The spaghetti was watery like a mother trucker. As we were saying, the pizza was thinner than like my finger and my finger is like extremely skinny. The employees all they do is talk and be on their phone. Three waiters in the bar, all they do is talk, talk, talk. The woman did not come once to say like, Hi, how's everything? Is everything okay over here? Not even once. I left $3 a tip and she doesn't even deserve three dollars a tip. She would come and bring the food and she wouldn't talk. Like, she will just come and drop off food and go. Like, and I know if you're a waitress and like, there's a lot of customers and like, you gotta be in a rush because there's a lot of customers and you don't say nothing, you just put the food there of the customer and you go. But there was literally no one in the store. Like, it was just like me and her sure. and like, there was like three other people. Like, a hey, there you go, enjoy, would have been nice. And like, she just came, dropped all her food and like, just dipped like, there you go, have food poisoning for the next four months. I uh, literally, my smoothie was like $3.75 and it was powerful. Powder smoothie with three dollars and seventy five cents. Uh, uh, I could have dead ass bought in a big ass bottle this big of strawberry powder, and I could have sold smoothies at my house for three dollars and seventy five and make at least two hundred dollars a profit. Correct. Sure. Anyways, yo, this place definitely deserves a one, a, a zero, cause it deserves a zero. That's what it deserves, a zero, not even a one. Customer service, horrible. The floor is horrible. And the bathrooms, I feel like they had just recently cleaned the bathrooms. The bathrooms were alright. But that sink, oh man, that sink was disgusting. And then you have paper all over the floor. That's perfectly fine in a restaurant's bathroom. But yeah, definitely this place, definitely a one. Sucks booty, highly do not recommend it. Can't really tell you what place it is because we don't want to bring any bad negative reviews to this place. Because like for me, it might be shitty. But for four people, it might be good. Out of ten people, for an eight people, it might be shitty. For two, it might be good. So we can't really know what the real opinion is. Maybe some people like that type of food that's on a budget. Maybe some people like more classy food like me. I'd rather eat McDonald's than eat that, to be honest. Why is it taking so long at the McDonald's drive through Alright guys, as you can see, the food was very at that place, and now we're at McDonald's! Anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go, guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys like and want to see more content like this, let me know uh, down below. Uh, I would really appreciate some feedback. Uh, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. Turn on post notifications. Please subscribe, please, please. I, it means a lot to me when someone subscribes to my YouTube channel because uh, I put a lot of work and effort into this. I Well, I try my best, basically. Uh, all the love and feedback is accepted, even it's, if it's hate, like, hate, you know, it's still accepted here. We love everybody. Stay positive. Peace out!